lifting up Jesus and opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. Well, first of all, it's a mishandling of the text out of context. This is a parable. He's speaking parabolically. As any scholar knows, and even some Islamic scholars who study Christianity admit, parable has low correspondence. He's not talking about actual people or actual deeds. He's using an illustration. Jesus was not speaking about something that would be done in this life or this world. He was speaking about the judgment of God in the world to come and making an analogy. Elsewhere, Jesus made it clear when Peter pulled out the sword on the high priest's servant, put the sword back in its sheath. He who lives by the sword dies by the sword. This is not the time for God's reckoning or God's judgment. Jesus made it clear that time of reckoning and judgment of those who refuse him will come. But it's not coming in this life or this world. It's coming when he returns. He was not speaking to his servants to go out and kill people. Now, I would advise our Muslim friends with the following. If you don't submit to his lordship, he is going to destroy you. He will destroy you. This is your choice. He will destroy you. But he doesn't want to destroy you. He'd rather that you repent and believe in him. Now consider Muhammad. After Muhammad forced his stepson to divorce his wife so Muhammad could take her, take his own son's wife. Allah supposedly told Muhammad not to do this anymore and take no more wives. He was to take no more wives according to the instruction given him by his God Allah. And he continued to take wives. This is Muhammad. Muhammad had sinned. Jesus did not. Muhammad cannot save you. Jesus can. Jesus never took the virginity of a little nine-year-old girl. Jesus was no pedophile. And Jesus never killed anybody. He could have, but he didn't. But a time is coming when the judgment will take place. And those who do not submit to his lordship will come under the eternal judgment of God. That is a parable. And it's a parable, a story, that's hypothetical, given to explain by analogy what is going to happen at the final judgment after Christ returns. In no way was it an instruction for Christians to go out and kill people. If it were, we'd have to kill Muslims. But we don't do that. The Roman Catholic Crusades did that, and the Muslims do that even to each other. Most jihads are Muslims killing other Muslims. But what the Roman Catholic Church did with their crusades and what the Muslims do to each other to this day, that is not the teaching of Jesus and it's not the meaning of that parable in Luke's Gospel. My name is Jacob Prash. Thank you so much. It's me, Yaqub. Ah, salam. <laughs>